I enjoy my work so much that, uh, that I hope I get lots of scripts with a lot of pretty girls <laughs> and uh, that my band and I get to work until we're all too uh, old to move around on the stage. It is with great sadness that we share the news of the passing of legendary musician, actor, and songwriter Chris Christopherson. Christopherson, who touched millions of hearts with his music and acting, passed away peacefully at his home in Maui on September 28, 2024, at the age of 88. Today, we honor his remarkable life and legacy. Before we dive into the life of this extraordinary man, please take a moment to like this video, share your thoughts and comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more heartfelt tributes. Let's keep his legacy alive by sharing his story. Chris Christopherson was born on June 22, 1936, in Brownsville, Texas, to Lars Henry Christopherson and Mary Ann Ashbrook. His father, a U.S. Army Air Corps officer, later became a U.S. Air Force Major General, instilling a sense of duty and discipline in the young Chris. His upbringing was rooted in a strong military tradition, and it was expected that he would follow in his father's footsteps. Chris had two siblings, but little is known about their private lives, as he was the most public of the three. His family moved frequently due to his father's military career, and this transient lifestyle had a profound impact on Christopherson, giving him a broad view of the world. Christopherson was not only talented, but also intellectually gifted. He excelled academically and earned a Rhodes Scholarship to study at Oxford University in the United Kingdom, where he pursued a degree in English literature. While in Oxford, he began writing songs and performing them in small clubs, discovering a deep passion for music. Despite his growing love for songwriting, Christopherson remained committed to his family's wishes, at least for a time. However, this was not without tension. His parents disapproved of his decision to pursue a music career instead of following the military path that had been laid out for him. Christofferson's decision to leave the military led to him being disowned by his family, a turning point that shaped the rest of his life. It was a painful break, but it freed him to chase his artistic dreams, military service, and early jobs. Before fully committing to music, Christofferson followed in his father's footsteps and enlisted in the U.S. Army. He served as a helicopter pilot and completed ranger school, reaching the rank of captain. He was stationed in West Germany during the Cold War, where he continued to write music in his spare time. When he left the army in 1965, Christofferson turned down a position as professor of English literature at West Point, choosing instead to move to Nashville to pursue songwriting. It was during this period that he worked a series of odd jobs including as a janitor at Columbia Studios, where he often met the musicians and producers who would help launch his career. One of the most famous stories from his early years involves him landing a helicopter in Johnny Cash's front yard to get his attention with a demo tape. That bold move paid off. Music career. The rise of a legend. Christofferson's big break came when he penned Me and Bobby McGee, which was famously covered by Janis Joplin. The song became a massive hit, and catapulted him into the limelight. His songwriting talents were undeniable, and he wrote a string of hits including Help Me Make It Through the Night, For the Good Times, and Sunday Morning Coming Down. He quickly became one of the leading figures in the outlaw country movement, alongside legends like Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, and Waylon Jennings. Together, they formed the country supergroup The Highwaymen, releasing several successful albums and touring extensively. Christofferson's raspy voice and raw, emotional songwriting set him apart from his peers. He wasn't just writing country hits. His lyrics were deep, introspective, and poetic, often reflecting his own struggles and experiences. He seamlessly blended country, rock, and folk, creating a sound uniquely his own. Acting career. Hollywood icon. In addition to his music, Christofferson found success in Hollywood. His rugged good looks and undeniable charisma made him a natural fit for the silver screen. He starred in over 70 films, including iconic roles in Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, 1973, Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, 1974, and A Star Is Born, 1976, for which he won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor. 
He also appeared in the Blade film series, introducing him to a new generation of fans. His film career was as diverse as his music, showing his versatility as an actor. He often played characters that mirrored his real-life persona, tough, introspective, and a bit of an outsider. Mid-career and later years. In the 1980s and 1990s, Christofferson continued to release music and tour, though his output slowed. He remained a highly respected figure in both music and film, known for his humility and down-to-earth personality despite his fame. In 1985, he joined Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, and Waylon Jennings in Forming the Highwaymen, which became one of the most successful country music collaborations of all time. In his later years, Christofferson embraced a quieter life, personal life, marriages, children, and religion. Christofferson's personal life was filled with love, heartache, and resilience. He was married three times. His first marriage was to his high school sweetheart, Fran Beer in 1961, with whom he had two children. The marriage ended in divorce in 1969. Christofferson briefly dated Janis Joplin before her death in October 1970. He later married singer Rita Coolidge in 1973, with whom he had one daughter. That marriage, too, ended in divorce in 1980. In 1983, he married Lisa Myers, and together they had five children. Christofferson was a devoted father to his eight children, despite the demands of his career. His family was incredibly important to him, and he often spoke about how they grounded him. As for his religious beliefs, Chris was raised in a Christian household, but was known for having a more spiritual than religious approach to life, often reflecting on existential themes in his songs. Health, Later Years and Death In his later years, Christofferson battled several health issues, including Lyme disease, which he was misdiagnosed with for years. The illness took a toll on his memory and health, but despite this, he continued to perform into his 80s. He finally retired from touring in 2020. Chris Christofferson passed away at his home in Maui on September 28, 2024, surrounded by his family. He was 88 years old. Awards, Honors, and Legacy Over his long and storied career, Christofferson received numerous awards and accolades. He was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2004 and received a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. His music and films left an indelible mark on popular culture, and his influence can be seen in countless artists who followed in his footsteps. Chris Christofferson's Net Worth and Homes At the time of his passing in 2024, Chris Christofferson's net worth was estimated at around $160 million, accumulated through his successful careers in music and film. He owned two notable properties, a home in Los Flores Canyon in Malibu, California, and another in Hannah, Hawaii, on the island of Maui. Both homes reflected his love for privacy and nature, with his Maui estate offering a serene retreat near the ocean. Despite his wealth, Christofferson was known for living modestly, preferring a simple, grounded lifestyle away from the spotlight. Chris Christofferson's Legacy Chris Christofferson's legacy is one of authenticity, talent, and resilience. He lived life on his own terms, never compromising his artistic vision. His contributions to music, film, and culture will continue to inspire future generations. His songs, often poignant and deeply human, remain timeless. Though he has passed, Chris Christofferson's voice will live on, his music will continue to move hearts, and his spirit will remain a guiding light for those who believe in the power of art to change the world. Rest in peace, Chris Christofferson. You will never be forgotten. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to honor Chris's legacy.